Welcome to our third meters training video. My name is Rick Frost. My call is Kilo 4 Romeo Echo Foxtrot. Our purpose today is to make you more familiar with the basic operations of the Kenwood TS-2000 radio, which is being deployed and is in use at many of our regional hospitals. Today we're going to look at very simplified digital signal processing and we're also going to look at RF gain control. So let's get started. First thing we're going to look at is uh, digital signal processing on the radio. And these are just some simple things you can do uh, to help the signal sound better uh, and hopefully let you understand it better. If you look below the keypad, there are two big knobs. The one on the left uh, is labeled low and the one on the right is labeled high. Uh, and these are just set the cutoff uh, frequencies that, that you're listening to and so it's very easy to adjust this if you'll just take I'm going to turn the lower one uh, and you'll notice when I do that it brings up uh, the display for the low cut filter and it actually shows you the Hertz uh, level that it's at. Now the other thing I want you to notice is that you also see this display change uh, on the filter on the meter. Uh, so it gives you kind of a visual of what the filters are set at uh, when these aren't displayed. So again, the low cutoff uh, can be set to whatever you want. I find uh, between 200 and 400 uh, is really a, a good place. Uh, kind of gets rid of the low bassy sounds uh, and lets you uh, uh, hear what people are saying a little bit better. Uh, you notice it d disappears after a moment. Uh, but display goes back to normal, so you don't have to uh, hit any other buttons. Uh, just reach over and turn the knob and set it to what you want, what sounds good, and let go of it, and you're good. Uh, the same thing's true on the right knob. That's the high cutoff. Uh, it's displayed over here on the right side. Uh, starts out at 5,000, and you can work your way down. Uh, generally, 2,800, 2,600 is about where I run it, sometimes lower. Now, if you get much lower than that, you really start cutting off uh, the actual uh, frequencies uh, that people speak at, and you cut out the signal altogether. But it is a way of getting rid of the very high-end part, and sometimes that's a noisy part of the signal. And uh, so that's a good thing to do. Uh, again, you get a display of it, uh, kind of what it's set out to look at it. Uh, so those two things there give you a way of adjusting uh, both an FM lower sideband. It uh, gives you the way of uh, adjusting what you're hearing digitally uh, so that it makes it a little clearer. Uh, but a couple other things I wanted you to notice. Uh, beside the keypad on the left, uh, there are a couple of buttons we're interested in uh, for noise reduction. Uh, the first one is noise reduction. It's labeled NR, uh, and uh, there's really uh, two different modes for noise reduction. Uh, so if we hit it the first time, uh, you'll notice on the display we'll get an NR1, uh, and that's the first uh, noise reduction mode. If I hit on it one more time, uh, you'll notice it moves to uh, NR2, uh, which is the second mode, and then if I hit it one more time, it takes it out of the mode. Uh, so it'll cycle through those three uh, uh, indicators. Uh, so let's go to noise reduction one. Uh, and how do I adjust that? Well, it's just like you would think you would. Uh, you notice beside uh, the noise reduction in orange it says level. And that's where we can set the level. So again, we're going to use our function key that we learned earlier. For any of the orange uh, things, we use orange, the function key, which actually is sort of a UT orange. Uh, and you're going to hit that key. Uh, the LED above it will go on. And then we're going to hit the noise reduction. Uh, if you notice, we'll come over here and look at the uh, level 2, uh, and that's the level it's set at. And it does give you an indication, uh, NR1 enhanced, telling you what you're adjusting, and then the level. And we'll use the multi-knob that we're familiar with uh, to adjust that level. Uh, it can be set in auto mode. Uh, I tend to leave it in 1 or 2, but it can be run up as high as 9. Uh, it's the amount uh, and level that it's set at. So 1 or 2 is what I tend to use. Uh, but again, that's uh, how you adjust that. Now, you do have to take it back out of this mode like we do uh, many of the other uh, adjustments. So we'll hit function again and the NR key again. And you notice the display goes back to normal. And uh, we're still in NR1. Uh, uh, so that's how you adjust the noise reduction. That's the same thing for NR2. Uh, we hit the function in uh, that same key again. And again, it's based on time for this particular one. And you can adjust uh, the milliseconds. Uh, and it goes from 2 up to as high as 20. Uh, again, the low end of this uh, I tend to use 
uh, to have a subtle uh, change. Uh, the indication you get is an NR2 uh, SPAC. Uh, so again, we're going to hit the function key and level uh, the NR key one more time uh, to take it out of that mode. Uh, the other key I want to show you is the uh, AN key that's just below the NR key. The AN is for automatic notch. Um, and it's just very easy. You just uh, hit that key. Uh, it'll turn on. And you'll notice that we have the uh, automatic notch. Um, in fact, I'll take it out of uh, the uh, NR out so you can see it a little bit plainer. Uh, automatic notch. Uh, again, it just uh, turns it on uh, and turns it off. Uh, the automatic notched uh, level adjustments just like you'd expect. You hit the function key and the level and then you get an auto notch and a level indicator and you can adjust the uh, amount of that. Uh, so that's the way you would adjust it. Again we hit the function key and the AN key once uh, to take it back out of that adjustment mode and put the uh, uh, unit back in normal operating mode. Uh, the one thing that you'll really find is helpful for the automatic notch because um, uh, it will notch out a very specific frequency. Uh, a lot of times people will come in and will be uh, using their antenna tuner uh, to tune up their uh, uh, radios and it'll be putting out a very tone frequency uh, that's very annoying. And so if you hit that AN button, uh, it will notch out that thing like magic. It's really amazing. Uh, so if you ever have a tone on the frequency, uh, and most of the time you can tell if somebody's trying to tune up their antenna, they may do it multiple times. Uh, you can hit that AN button uh, when it's an HF, and it will get that, uh, that'll notch that right out. Otherwise, you won't see too much of an effect of it. It takes out a very specific tone. The other thing we want to talk about uh, is RF gain control. Uh, and there's a few buttons on the radio that will really be a big help to you uh, in hearing distance stations, especially in HF, uh, that are real noisy. Uh, so let's talk about a few things. First, uh, these two buttons that are just below the power button on the left-hand side of the radio. Uh, the one uh, on the right side is uh, has PRE, and that's the preamp for the radio. Uh, if you've got a weak signal, I uh, can't hear them very well, if you hit this preamp button one time, uh, the preamp indicator will come up, and you can see how much it boosted that signal uh, that's just barely there. Uh, so again, I'll turn it off. Uh, you can see right now it's about a 2 uh, when I hit that preamp, uh, it bounces it up to about seven and a, seven or eight. Uh, so you can see how it has a big effect. Uh, without even hearing it, you can visually see that uh, the preamp uh, is boosting that signal quite a bit. It also does boost the noise quite a bit, uh, so that's the trade-off. Uh, but sometimes if you can um, you know, barely hear someone, a very weak signal, uh, that's a way of uh, pulling them in so you can make the contact. So turn the preamp off. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is the button that's uh, just to the left of the preamp button. Uh, it's ATT. That's attenuation. Uh, if you've got a signal that you've got, someone's talking to you, and you can hear them pretty good, you've got a good signal from them, but it's real noisy, a lot of hiss in the signal, uh, you can hit this uh, ATT button and attenuate the signal down uh, to where uh, you're hearing more of just them and not the low-end noise. I think attenuation is about uh, 10 dB. Uh, but I use this quite a bit. I don't use the preamp as much, uh, but I use the attenuation quite a bit uh, to attenuate that signal down and get rid of uh, uh, that low-end noise that uh, often is in the signal. Uh, well, I shouldn't say low-end. It's just a hiss that's, that you'll hear a lot on HF. Uh, so just hit that attenuation button one time. You can see the ATT comes up, and I'll show you that it's in that mode. The other way thing I want to show you, now you're familiar with the uh, automatic gain control that's on the radio. You can see that it has uh, AGC on the radio, and we uh, can hit the number 8 button, and that will allow us to adjust the, the quickness of the response on that. We'll pan over here and look. It's got AGC and slower, slow to fast, and we can adjust it uh, to how fast we want the response on the automatic gain control uh, to occur. And uh, we'll come back over here, uh, and we'll hit the uh, A8 key one more time, uh, and that will turn that adjustment off. Uh, and again, if you don't see the uh, AGC indicator, uh, the function uh, 
for a number eight uh, will turn that on and off. Uh, so if you come in and you see the radio and you got it in an HF, uh, you want to turn that uh, automatic gain control on, hit function, uh, and then the number eight, and above it it has uh, AGC slash off in orange. Uh, that off on on orange is uh, will hit it one time and it'll turn it on. When we've got the automatic gain control on, one of the ways that we can clean up the signal even further than attenuation uh, is by manually riding the RF gain. And by that I mean we've got the uh, gain control on, but if we still got, we've attenuated it, uh, or if we'd rather just manually ride it, uh, we can uh, still get rid of a lot of that hiss uh, in the signal uh, by turning the uh, RF gain control down. And so where that control is on the radio is over here on the far right side uh, above the volume control. Uh, the ring on the back part uh, of this upper control is, is the RF gain. It's listed uh, right on the radio in case you forget, uh, but it's this outer ring. Normally it's fully clockwise, um, but we can ride this down manually and reduce the gain uh, manually. So let's come over here and we'll look uh, at our indicator here and you can see the top one that's our signal strength and you can see it's about uh, one or one and a half two somewhere in there. I can take and manually turn this counterclockwise and roll that gain down and I'm actually you can see me pushing the signal up to three to five somewhere in there um, if someone were talking on that frequency right now, it would be bouncing up higher than that. Uh, but this is a really good way to get rid of um, a lot of the noise that you'll hear in the signal is to just manually ride that gain. Especially if you're having a conversation with the same person that's going to go on for a while. Uh, you can manually ride this gain uh, as long as you've got a good signal from them and uh, get it to where you're really just hearing their voice and uh, not a lot of the other uh, hiss and stuff that you get on HF. Uh, so again, you can manually ride this. I've got it fully clockwise there, uh, and actually you can ride it up, you know, as high as you want. But if you get it up very high, you're going to start losing the person talking too. Uh, so again, if you can bring it up to, uh, you know, three, four, somewhere in there, a lot of times that makes a huge difference in how clear they sound. Uh, so just want to make you aware of that. Uh, that's a good way to deal with a lot of noise on HF, and a good way to uh, operate the radio. Always remember to turn those. Uh, back down or off when you're done with them. So turn that back up to full gain and turn attenuation preamp uh, back on or off uh, when you're done with it.